Hey guys, did you know about 98% of people that buy VHF radios underutilize two main features of a VHF radio? Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about those features and how it really helps you. All right, so the first feature is the D, uh, D, DSC, Digital Selective Calling. So that's one of the things that I think is really, really underutilized, especially as a pager system. Everyone knows about the emergency feature. Hold the button down, you're gonna get an emergency uh, distress signal. Uh, you can acknowledge it, Coast Guard gets it. Everyone knows about that. So, but what's not as utilized as much is is the paging system and the page function of it. So I have uh, you know a girlfriend that really likes paddle boarding and she goes pretty far uh, away from the boat when she does that. And I utilize it as a paging system and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So, so come with me. I have here is the VHF radio. I'm gonna try to make sure I get rid of some of the glare. So, but if I go into menu and I hit Compose Distress. So I'm doing an individual call, so I'm gonna call her directly. The address, which would be her MMSI, which I already have in here and I listed as mobile. Her MMSI is different than the boat MMSI. And then I go down and say, okay, routine, let's see, telephone, so mode, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with, instead of individual, I want position. So I wanna know her position, okay? So then, just a standard category, and I'm gonna hit call. So, when I call, it'll transmit, and then this is the mobile, and you can see that it's asking her to acknowledge, um, and it has already sent the uh, signal. Okay, so all I have to do now is come down here and say alarm off, and close it, and then there is her GPS location and time of day that I went ahead and pinged her. So I can put that in the chart plotter and go ahead and, and send that out. Or if I need to call her, I can also call her, page her directly using that. So instead of hailing her on a, on a channel where she may not hear, the DSC feature gives you a really distinctive beep. Um, and let's be honest, the, the radio is pretty annoying when it beeps. So uh, she's able to hear that, she's able to respond. And then if I need to, I can ask her to go to a channel. Um, I can pre-select the channel for her with even having to say something. And uh, we can go ahead and talk and um, you know communicate at that point. Hi guys, so one of the other ways that I use uh, a VHF radio is with the AIS system. Uh, so specifically AIS receive. So both of my VHF radios are equipped with the AIS receive. Um, I'm gonna show you one way that I use those. Before we do though, if you guys get anything out of this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up uh, on YouTube. It really does help the algorithm. Uh, still a brand new channel, really trying to get the message out there and, uh, and help people out. So if you like what you're getting, uh, got anything from it, uh, do me a favor, give me that thumbs up. All right, so going into the AIS receive. So with Kaylin again, being an avid paddle boarder, we do uh, a lot is we'll go out to the Gulf Stream and there's a lot of traffic sometimes out in the Gulf Stream. And with Kaylin being an avid paddle boarder, you know, sometimes, you know, it's great to always know her location. And sometimes that I actually uh, escort her and I'm, uh, you know, if you will, a, a buddy boat to her paddle board. Um, and what we've also done is I do the crossing once a year and I assist with the, the group from Cystic Fibrosis. And it's happened a, a couple times now where I've had five or six paddle boarders uh, behind my boat being escorted back to the United States and we're crossing in the Gulf Stream. Now, if you're familiar with the Gulf Stream at all, there's a lot of uh, tankers and cargo ships that come through and they don't have a lot of maneuverability, but some of them, um, you know, private yachts and things like that coming out of Miami, they might be able to, to uh, maneuver a little bit for you. So one thing that help, has helped me out and I can show you here on the screen is you can see the targets. So this target right here is an AIS target, okay? And all I have to do is click on it and then bring it back up and I can see all the information that I need on the vessel. I can see the name, the MMSI, if I need to call them. I can see if they're moving, what speed, what direction. Um, 
So it's a very good and useful tool on that aspect. And what I ended up doing on this one scenario is we were pretty much in the path of this one uh, uh, mega yacht that was leaving probably Miami, Port of Miami and uh, heading north. And we were pretty much right in their way uh, or going to be in their path. Um, they had the right of way. We were totally just there. But the problem was is because I was escorting paddle boarders and they're very small and very slow, um, I decided to call the uh, yacht and ask them if they would mind uh, altering their course five or ten degrees either you know uh, one direction or the other to kind of get out of the way uh, so they would not cross paths with us so and they obliged and it was uh, it was perfect but it's one just one scenario that you can use as a boater to use the AIS system that can really assist especially if you have someone doing any type of uh, extracurricular activity uh, on the boat no. Again, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate you, uh, your time. If you got anything from this video, do me a favor again, uh, like and subscribe. All right, if you're interested to see more, click on the video on your screen to see the uh, biggest mistakes that everyone makes when they do buy a VHF. And we'll see you on the next one.